you can now create workspaces in Moho Pro 12. Essentially, it's a quick way to set up custom folders. For instance, let's say you want folders for rigs, voices, props, and so on. You can set these folders up automatically depending on your project. You can create custom templates to assign to these projects as you see fit. It's really just a way to quickly organize your content, get your folders set up, so you can jump in and start animating your project. First, let me show you how you can access this workspace window. If you come up here to File, you can choose New Workspace. A new window will appear, and since this is the first time we're doing this, we only have access to four different sample workspaces. Right here, you can see we have one workspace called Full, and underneath you have a workspace preview with all of these different folders. And that's basically all you're going to do. Once you hit OK, you will save this workspace. You can see right here I have one called Workspace Design. That's the folder I'm currently in. And we can save this full workspace. So let me just do that really quick and click Save. If I now come down here and bring my file browser back up, you can see a new folder has been created in Workspace Design called Full. That's the one that we named. And if we click on this, you'll see we have folders for every single thing we had in that dialog box. This saves us from having to go in and create folders manually every time we want to use a similar template. If, let's say, you have a long-running series and every episode uses a similar structure, you could create a workspace so that every folder that is a new episode can have a custom library for characters, voices, scripts, screenplays, whatever you need. To create a custom template for a workspace, all you have to do is work within your file browser. First, if I come over here and click on File, you can go all the way down here to Open Custom Content Folder. What this will do is bring up the content folder for Moho Pro. At the bottom, you'll see a folder called Workspace Templates. Double click on this and you'll see those four sample templates that we had in the window. To make your own templates, all you have to do is create some folders. So once again, let me just enlarge this. Let's say we are talking about creating a folder for a long running series. That way we don't have to keep making folders over and over again. I'll just make a new folder. And we'll name this one Super Space City. That's going to be the name of my animated series. Don't, don't take it. It's, it's copyrighted and it's going to make me a million dollars. But anyway, we're going to go into this now and create some folders for this particular template. So we could create rigs as one example. Let me make sure that that is inside that folder, just like that. And then we can make voices as another one, props, screenplays, and let's say renders. So we have a test folder. Within these folders, you can add any files you want, audio files, image files, SVG files, whatever you choose, whatever you need for the project at hand. Let's say every time you create this workspace, you want to include a watermark you can put into the bottom corner of your canvas when working in Moho. Just create an images folder, add your watermark, and every time this workspace is used, that watermark will be made available. You can also easily include a Moho file with the template as well, should you want specific dimensions and frame rate. So there we go. We have our template set up, and we can go back into Moho and see how this works. Back in Moho, I want to come up here now and go to File, New Workspace. Click on the drop down menu, and you'll see now we have Super Space City, my new series, and we have a workspace preview showing we can do props, renders, rigs, screenplays, and voice folders for this particular template. Before you click OK, one more thing I want to note. You can also set a project file within that template. So that way you have a starting file to jump in with should you see fit. All your settings will be where they need to be, dimensions, frame rate, and all that. And you'll have your folders lined up and ready to go as well. So in the end, creating workspaces is all about custom tailoring Moho to your own experience.
and to save yourself time, especially if you plan to use repeat workspaces over and over. If you'd like more information, tutorials, or to purchase Moho, visit moho.smithmicro.com.